Syria has a thousand year old history. The beginning of civilization, the time of Alexander the Great, the Ottoman Empire, and history has left its mark. However, conflicts have been smoldering in the country for decades. In March 2011, everything changed. After the torture and the arrest of some children who had painted regime-critical slogans on a school wall, nationwide protests against the Assad regime sparked off. Today the conflict is more than just a struggle between opponents of the regime and its advocates. It took on proportions towards religion, culture and long-felt hostilities. And the rise of the Islamic State has added another dimension to it. People took long and dangerous routes to escape from terror and violence. The entire world looks on Syria, but the only ones who really know what's going on are the ones who have faced it. Journalists all over the country are reporting on incidents. And there has never been such a diversified media landscape in Syria. But due to the situation and the lack of organization, they are all acting on their own. And that's what makes them vulnerable. Yahya Alaus and Adnan al Megdad fled from Syria to save their lives and the lives of their families and children. They agreed to talk to us about the situation in Syria and their life as Syrian journalists in Germany. Frequent intimidation, arrests, abductions and murders constitute an extremely grim environment for the media in Syria. So we asked Yahya Alaus and Adnan al-Mekdad how they experienced press freedom in Syria. I think since a long time the Syrian regime don't allow uh, press freedom. They're controlling every single magazine and during more than five decades there is no private mass media in Syria and this creates very hard problems for the journalists so it's very difficult then. There is no free press, this is all you have to, the police, the intelligence, you have to uh, check all your article and this is not allowed to speak about the government, especially for the defense uh, ministry or the president or you should only, he's a good uh, president, he's, this is the government, there is no free. You should follow the procedures, the instruction, what they give you. There is one uh, agency for all news, it is coming from the uh, SANA. She gives you all information about all the uh, government and you should take it. And now, after the revolution in Syria starts, a lot of obstacles facing the journalists. I guess the majority of independent journalists has already left Syria. It's very bad atmosphere to work and the, the, uh, the, 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 the independent journalists are experienced a very bad situation and this is give the opportunity or the need maybe for the citizen journalists. Citizen journalists cover the conflict in Syria from within. Now that a lot of journalists had to leave the country because of persecution and war, what are the opportunities and risks of this new style of reporting? This is social media like Facebook, Twitter, Skype or something like that. And at that time, this is the news is coming out of Syria and everybody knows. But this is not everybody he can have courage to do it because when the police or intelligence service catch him, they will kill him or put him in the jail. And there is many, uh, our colleague, still nobody knows where, where, where are them or what is happening with them because somebody killed, somebody missing, somebody... No, they need more training because they don't know how to explain, how to make it the report or documents to 
be professional so way. Those youngs, and the majority of them are youngs, they start reporting about their local events and they work in a very bad situation. I know, and everybody knows that they are not academic. Uh, they have no academic uh, university or studies, but they play a very important role. We will say a lot of them, day after day, month after month, they became more professional. Now that a lot of Syrian journalists are in Germany, there is the opportunity that those experts can cover the war. But the German reality seems to be a different one. I, I think it's not easy to be a journalist in, in, in Germany. I have a lot of German freelancer journalists and they have a lot of trouble. They can't depend this work as a real job. They face a lot of trouble. They, they, they don't get some get enough money. And you can imagine what is the situation to be for us as a journalist in exile. We don't speak the, the language and we don't have enough knowledge about what's going on. We try to explain what's going on in Syria, but you know, the media here is, I don't know how it's working. Nobody knows because only who without behind this media. They think or they speak in all media in Germany like a civil war. But this is not right, this is not civil war. Till now, I'm still watching some German TVs who are depending on German experts to explain the situation in Syria, which is very bad. I know some people who never been in Syria and they go to the channel TVs and try to explain about Homs and Halab or Aleppo or, or Damascus. And I'm sure that they don't know anything practically about it. They just read something or, or they have been there for six months. This is not enough to give a good idea about our situation in Syria. I think there are a lot of energy, a lot of abilities among the Syrian journalists but nobody take care of it. of it, nobody. I think if, if there is a database for the Syrian journalists, or the experts, or the political activists, they will be able to give a better idea about the situation in Syria than the, the German do. Integrating foreign journalists into another media system is not easy. But without support, their voice might be lost soon. So I think there is very, very hectic times for us here in Germany as a journalist. And I'm afraid many of us will stop working as a journalist as soon as possible for them when they will find another job. And this is very bad. Personally, I'm, 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 I don't feel comfortable because I can't defend my job as enough income for me. And I will leave this uh, job as a journalist if I could find any kind of job with enough income.